Hi there, in this video I'm going to machine the cylinder for the Stuart half beam. Well this casting is in very good condition. It needs very little tidying up. Um, there's a bit there that I can take off with the bench grinder. Um, a little bit in the cylinder I can tidy up with a, a round file. And uh, the rest I can just tidy up with a file I think. So I'll do that off camera. And then uh, I'll get back to you. Well I can't believe it, it was a five minute job just to clean it up and uh, the port face has come up okay I mean obviously it needs to be machined and the other good thing with this casting is that the um, steam passages are already part of the uh, casting so unlike the Stuart S50 and the 10V um, you've got to actually drill those p passages sort of from there to that port and from there to that port so that saves a lot of hassle and stress so what I'll do now is uh, put it on the uh, lathe in the four jaw chuck um, with a view to first of all machining one of the faces well I don't know I've just spent about an hour setting it up in the four jaw chuck and I got it really spot on and then it occurred to me that if I start boring through there up to a, an inch in diameter I'm actually going to um, hit the sort of face of the chuck so um, the way around that I've decided to just put a piece of wood in so at least the boring bar can hit that and it won't damage the chuck so uh, I'll spend another hour setting it up again so the way I've gone about setting this up is I've got I got it roughly centered on the edge with the gauge and then um, it, it's obviously quite important that the edges of this cylinder are parallel with the bed because obviously you could have it sort of at that angle put a gauge on it and you could still have it sort of centered on the edge um, so the way I've done this is just use a little mallet, or rather a big mallet, uh, just to tap the edges and just eyeball the edge against the bed there. So I don't know whether you can see that on the camera. And having got it nice and parallel then I put the gauge on and make final adjustments and I'm putting the gauge on the inside of the cylinder okay so I made some minor adjustments and uh, we're pretty close now this is measuring the inside of the bore bear in mind it's not being machined obviously um, so that's close on zero if I turn it 180 degrees That's close on zero, turn it 90 degrees, just slightly over zero. So I'm really happy that that's pretty close. And uh, I don't know whether you can see it on camera, but I did check again to make sure that these edges are parallel with the bed. Okay, so the overall length of the cylinder is currently. 2.644 of an inch and it needs to be reduced down to 2 and 9 sixteenths of an inch which is 2.562 so that's a difference of 82 thou so what I'll do is take 40 thou off this face here
And for the final cut, I'll use the power feed on the cross slide. Okay, so I've put the boring bar in, I've put a little mark on it there, which denotes when I've got to the end of the cylinder. And uh, I'm going to take a uh, tenth out off uh, using a roughing cut on the uh, power feed. Okay, so I've just put a new tip on this cutter, and uh, I'll cut at five thou uh, on fine feed. So this is a piece of uh, aluminium, an inch in diameter. So that looks like a good fit. It's probably a, a couple of thou over, but I think we should be okay. Okay, so what I need to do now is to take 40 thou off this end here. And I've tried holding it in the four jaw chuck and I just can't get it to sit right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, use a bit of Loctite and stick it on this uh, one inch diameter piece of aluminium like that, making sure that the faces uh, are up against the jaws and then I'll uh, cut the 40 thou off in uh, 10 thou increments.
Okay, so now it's uh, time to mill the port face. So what I've done is I've put it in a vise, put this uh, wood inch diameter bar through it. Um, I've put the gauge on all four corners to make sure it's pretty much um, parallel with the uh, table. Now the port face needs to be seven eighths of an inch from the centre of the board hole. Now the board hole is actually an inch in diameter. So if you take half an inch off seven eighths of an inch, that gives three eighths of an inch or 0.375. So 0.375 is there. So I've just scribed a line on there. And if I just zero wise the height gauge put the gauge actually on the port face it's coming up with round about 63 thou to come off which is quite a lot um, so anyway I'll uh, crack on and uh, I'll probably take 50 off and then double check and then uh, uh, get it closer to that um, required height Okay, I'm going to take 10 thou off at a time and I'm going to cut at a speed of 600 rpm. 16 millimeter cutter is this. Bad finish, about 50,000 to go. And this is the final cut at 7,000. So I'm just cleaning the port face up on some wet and dry. Well that seemed to go okay. Um, and it's a real bonus not having to drill those steam passages. That's a really stressful uh, little job. Um, I'm going to hold fire at the moment, uh, drilling and tapping any holes until I've actually made the uh, cylinder covers and the valve chest. Um, but anyway, I hope you like the results so far and in my next video I think I'm going to have a go at making the two uh, cylinder covers. So uh, I hope to see you later.